I warned you not to make me use this. Now I'm using it! <laughs> You ever try blocking three overheads in a row? How about dealing with combo loops like this? Today we're discussing Blue Beetle, the most mobile character that Netherrealm has ever made. From full screen flight to constant air mix-ups, this character was king of the sky. So make sure to leave a like for Blue Beetle, and without any further ado, let's get started. So first up, we have to talk about Flying Scarab, because this is where most of his mobility and his mix-ups came from. After activating this stance, you had so many options. So for starters, you could forward dash, and it covers a lot of distance, and the game doesn't tell you how many times you can do this stance, so you can literally fly in from full screen. Or if you want, you could go even further. This game lets you do this stance so many times in a row. But of course, Blue Beetle could do way more than air dash. For example, if you wanted to stay a bit closer, you could go for a forward jump. So just input a forward jump, and he'll jump again from the air. And if spaced correctly, you could use this for a very dirty cross-up. Or if you wanted to stay in front, you could just press up instead, and that made for a tricky double overhead from the front. And next, we have the most infamous option, which is to go straight down. And the reason that was so annoying is because you can do an overhead immediately after going down, and that overhead is much tougher to see coming. But why stop at two overheads when you can literally do three in the same block string? Look at that, a triple overhead. That's very annoying to block. And if you had one bar of meter lying around, you could actually do four overheads. That's really, really annoying for the opponent. And of course, the mix-ups didn't stop there. You could do an overhead, overhead, and then a cross-up. Once again, really tough for the opponent to block, especially if their character doesn't have very good anti-air options. And even if you did have a good anti-air option, you still had to be careful because Blue Beetle could always just do the projectile instead, and there wasn't a gap there if he did. And in the corner, this became even scarier because Blue Beetle could get a full combo off that meter burn projectile. And as a result, anti-airs were never safe. You were always taking a bit of a gamble. Because even from mid-screen, Blue Beetle had ways of making your anti-air miss. So look at that. I went for the forward jump option, and Superman missed completely. In fact, even if I jump backwards, he still misses, and I get a full combo punish. So once again, anti-airs were never a safe option against Blue Beetle. Every now and then you had to go for him because you can't keep blocking forever, but my point is you were never actually safe when going for it. Now personally, I love the jump backwards option because it's such a cop out and to make things even more annoying, he can still fire the projectile afterwards. So not only can you back off and make a full retreat, but you can also cover your exit with the projectile. That is so strong. And keep in mind, Blue Beetle did not have to jump to activate this stance. He could actually do it out of his strings as well. And that was very, very tough to deal with. Because Blue Beetle still had access to all the annoying mix-ups. He could still do double overheads, triple overheads, double overhead into cross-up overhead, all that annoying stuff. And if you were fighting someone more aggressive who was constantly trying to anti-air, then you could just go for the projectile, and once again, it would catch them trying to anti-air you. And just like earlier, if you had the opponent cornered, it would lead to a full combo. And then if you were fighting somebody more patient, you could just not do the stance, and Blue Beetle recovers pretty fast after landing, which means you can go for the setup once again. In fact, in a bad connection, you could even go for the low the second you touch the ground because the opponent's expecting a jumping kick overhead. Oh yeah, did I mention this character has crazy 50-50s even on the ground? Because even if Blue Beetle's not in the air, his mix-ups do not stop. He has an overhead and he has a low. One is a normal attack and the other is a special move. And the overhead is slower, but even so, it's 15 frames on startup, which means it is unreactable even offline at a tournament. And then the low attack is faster at 9 frames. So put simply, both attacks were completely unreactable from the opponent. Instead, they had to fuzzy block. And in case you're wondering what that term means, basically the opponent would block low immediately to cover this option, and then stand block immediately after to cover the overhead. So even though they can't react, they can train their fingers to block correctly with some timing. And as long as the opponent goes for these options immediately after you block the jump and kick, that fuzzy guard will work. But here's the thing, what if they just slightly delayed their low? Now they'll catch you trying to block the overhead. So even if your fuzzy guard timing was godlike, Blue Beetle had ways of opening you up anyway. Now thankfully, Nether Realm understood that this many air mix-ups and ground mix-ups was a bit too strong, so they nerfed Blue Beetle's combo damage. Even if Blue Beetle has one bar of meter, he's not getting very much damage for his troubles. And then when it comes to his meterless combos, they're not much better. However, once Blue Beetle had two bars of meter, his combo damage wasn't that bad, if I'm being honest. Look at that, 450? That's almost half dead for some characters. And even though it did cost two bars, keep in mind Injustice lets you store up to four bars of meter, which means in just one more combo, the opponent's gonna be right next to 
the desk door. And also keep in mind you can flight cancel twice in the same combo, which makes for some really creative combos when you have the enemy cornered. Once again, the damage was nothing crazy, but man, these combos were flashy and stylish, and you just know they drained the opponent's morale. And as a result, the overhead mix-up was much scarier in my opinion, because he could cancel it into the meter burn wall bounce, which is not the case for the low option. However, even so, the low option could still lead to some decent damage. And even though the overhead does lead to the more damaging combos, guess what? It could also be made safe on block because his shield slam was only minus 4, and this also made it a fantastic wake up because it hits mid. But the point is, if the blue beetle player wanted to make sure that they were never punishable, they could just cancel into shield bash and be safe every time. And then of course if they had 2 bars, the wall bounce is plus on block for a majority of characters, and blue beetle is no exception. And then don't forget about the overhead low, because that overhead is special cancelable, and man, online, this was so tough to block, especially in a bad connection, and it still led to a full combo for Blue Beetle. Once again, the damage was nothing crazy, but the point is, it was really, really hard to block, so when you were low on health, you pretty much just died. But keep in mind, the mix-ups didn't stop just because you were being comboed. Blue Beetle could do shenanigans like this. Yes, that is a cross-up, and yes, the second hit is special cancelable. And as a result, Blue Beetle could still get the combo, and boy was it dirty. Look at that nonsense. Are you telling me the you blocked that, because I might call you a liar, and even if you could block that, I can just delay it, and now it's in the front, so my goodness, that is so tough to deal with, even offline with good reactions, that's one dirty mix-up. So not only did Blue Beetle have overheads for days, but he also had 50-50 mix-ups on the ground, and even at the end of a combo, he could still hit you with some of the dirtiest cross-ups I've ever seen. Once again, if you were low on life, this character was a nightmare, because it was constantly guess after guess after guess. But keep in mind, we're playing in justice, so of course it gets worse, because Blue Beetle had a way to re-stand you, so no matter how long the combo was, especially in the corner, he could re-stand you and just keep the pressure going. And keep in mind that being knocked down is actually great in this game, because it gives you access to invincible wake-ups, but that's not the case if the opponent leaves you standing like this. And as a result, Blue Beetle could just re-stand you and then go for more nonsense. So even if your character had a godlike wake-up, it didn't matter against this character, he could just constantly re-stand you. And after learning all this stuff about about Blue Beetle, I bet you'd think he's a rushdown character like Flash, but you'd be completely wrong. Because you see, Blue Beetle is one of the most spam-happy characters in this game. Look how fast he recovers after that projectile, and yes, it is completely safe on block. So even if you do it right in the opponent's face, you are still completely safe. Now with that said, it does hit high, so the opponent could duck under it, but if you meter burn it, now it hits mid, and yes, it is still safe on block. In fact, I think it might actually be plus. Let me go ahead and check real quick. This character is just ridiculous. I'll tell you what, yes, it is plus two on block if you meter burn it. So despite all the crazy air mix-ups and ground mix-ups and mix-ups on knockdown, all that crazy stuff, this character is also one of the better zoners in the game. He can also fire it from the air. My goodness, this guy is nuts. He has everything. Which is why I do think it's a good thing that Netherrealm gave him low combo damage, because my god, he's got so many other things going for him. And don't even get me started on his trait, because this gave him godlike range, and according to the game, it does not change his frame data at all. He just gets better. Range. The only trade-off is that he does lose access to some moves, including his best zoning options. So once you activate these bad boys, he is officially a rushdown character. The zoning options go away completely. But since we're talking about mobility, I should mention that his mandible strike is absolutely godlike. Look how far this thing goes, and it's 9 frames on startup. So yeah, this could punish so many things on block, even if they had massive pushback. Now, oddly enough, this move would actually leave the opponent further away, which isn't good for rushdown, but the game does give you the option to disable them and then just go for more projectiles. So yeah, it kind of turns them back into a zoner if you want it to. And then one more strange downside about these moves is that sometimes Blue Beetle doesn't use his claws. So look at that. The second hit just whiffs completely, which means you don't get a full combo even though you landed the hit, which is very frustrating. But you know what? Blame Netherrealm. And keep in mind that Blue Beetle does not lose access to his flight during trade, which gives him access to some unique combo options. And then on top of that, the range on his jumping light punch gets an extension which is kind of nuts because the range on this thing is already really good, but once you pop trait, it's even better now. In fact, Blue Beetle's uppercut, back 3, and forward 3 also get a range buff as well, and once again, they're not any slower. The only trade-off is you can't do certain special moves in this stance. So as you can see, I was not lying when I said Blue Beetle is the most mobile character that Netherrealm has ever made. From the sky, he has constant mix-ups for days, and the best air mobility in the game, hands down. But then even once he touched the floor, he still had nonsense mix 
mix-ups, he could re-stand you, he could cross under you and then cross up as you're getting up. Blue Beetle was also a mix-up monster as well, so here's hoping he comes back for Injustice 3 because I honestly love watching him at high level. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and then while you're down there, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video or if you simply love Blue Beetle. It really does help my channel out a ton. And then finish that combo by suplexing that subscribe button, that way you never miss a future video. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.